actually didn't know like or think anything about mushrooms until I was like 18 or 19. I just started getting into growing them and learning more about them. And then from there, it was just a really natural, intuitive passion. I never really lost that initial interest. And uh, yeah, there's just so many different aspects to it and so much to learn that it's, it's, a, it's easy to be passionate about it, no matter what your background is. I had been growing mushrooms for a few years and just been super interested. They, they're, the growing process is nothing like growing plants or anything. So I was just really, really interested. It was one of my main passions and hobbies at the time. And it was just kind of a natural progression to take all of the equipment and time and energy I was using to grow, you know, for fun and just kind of start selling to friends and family, helping them grow at home, you know, providing them with mushroom capsules and, and things like that. And yeah, just, I had so much organic interest that I decided to just go full time with it. Really at its most basic, the mushroom growing process is just a process of expanding the mycelium in sequential steps so that you can bulk up the amount of food that you're feeding your mycelium so that eventually it will produce a nice big flush of mushrooms that you can harvest and eat or make into mushrooms or materials or, or stuff like that. A lot of people and a lot of doctors are starting to realize that conventional medicine and you know Western medicine that's purely based on science and you know research and what new chemicals can we develop that only takes us so far right it's such a narrow view oftentimes when you're taking such a targeted medicine like that it only has a targeted effect whenever you know the real medicine you need has you know attacks the problem from multiple different angles and that's kind of where mushrooms and more holistic medicines come in. They're, they're working with your body to attack these really major problems from the root. And so I think in that way, they're really powerful medicines. They are extremely powerful medicines for, for physical and, and other mental ailments like PTSD and treatment resistant depression. Um, there's a lot of, you know, official really accredited professional studies going on in a lot of the best universities around the world and uh, you just can't you can't refute the the strong evidence and there's no reason to keep these medicines from people if they are really having a huge impact yeah aside from from being super powerful and accessible and cheap medicines um, fungi have so many different aspects that that can help to remedy our planet and, you know, kind of a lot of problems that we've caused with climate change and degrading our forests. And they're a really sustainable food source. Um, they grow on agricultural wastes in really small areas compared to other food crops. There's a lot of research going on for using mycelium-based or mushroom-based um, composite materials for packaging. So you can basically make like packing peanuts or styrofoam and stuff out of mycelium instead of out of, you know, oil-based and carbon-based um, plastic material. Yeah, there are actually a lot of unique medicinal mushrooms that I take and my, my family takes and a lot of my friends now. For example, the, the main one I take is lion's mane and it has a really unique effect on your nervous system and it pr promotes your... It stimulates your nervous system to uh, grow new neurons and 
it helps your existing neural connections fortify and strengthen. So that's a really unique thing uh, among the mushrooms and just among natural medicines in general. Um, but that kind of nervous system support has a lot of effect. It can help treat depression. There's a lot of research going on for helping prevent Alzheimer's. Actually, lion's mane has been used for 40, 50 years in European medicine as a standard treatment for MS. And actually, my uncle has pretty severe MS and he takes lion's mane every day. Actually, that's one of the only things that's given him relief. So yeah, there's there's endless potential for the medicinal medicinal benefits of mushrooms. And yeah, I, I suggest everyone learn more about it and you know, try it out for themselves.